Good morning, everybody. Morrison Spring is flooded, and this is our water level for today. Usually, normal water level opens another side of a stairs. What I want to do today, and what I made a progress on my bumper, I already put extension here. I put pins, security pins, on the left side. On the right side too. And now what I have to do, I have to put a middle security L channel. Let me show you from the bottom how it looks like. This is a view from the bottom. And this is adjustable ball holder for a trailer. And I will use that hole to secure a middle part. These pipes just lays here. There is four pipes <coughs> to cover this section and to put bicycle on the top. What I did yesterday, I already prefabricate a piece of aluminum. Unfortunately, that L channel too short. I need somewhere here another hole. I am welding up to that a piece of junk of aluminum. Thick aluminum need most power of welding. I'm starting it first with my fresh batteries. Here plenty of spring water. I have my buckets, one gallon each, and I'm taking spring water home. And trying to keep my shoes dry. All three bottles filled up. I place it in the front bumper. This is my thermos. This is my water heater. This is power outlet in a park. I do have plenty of power inside my van. Right now I'm at preparation for welding that bumper. So I'm saving all my power for welding. And give me a couple of minutes, water will be boiling. Water is spectacular steaming up. Water temperature is always 21 degree by Celsius coming from underground. I just want to show you my dress code. This is my professional diving sweater. This is wool hat. On my way here, temperature on the dashboard was 5 degree plus by Celsius. Okay, water is start boiling, as you see, and bubbling. And it's time to disconnect the heater. Place thermos inside of the van. And this is my coffee drinking for whole day. I'm ready to start my welding. But since it will be sparks all around, I would like to save my synthetic jacket. And a very valuable diving sweater. Starting welding. The very first connection is done. This is a heat sink, what absorbs heat. And now I could disconnect the clamps. Okay, first side is done, and what we have on another side. And I still need to do some welds on other side too, cause it didn't went through the all right another side is done also with a little smoky cause it was paint or something but let's see quality of bits oops it's hot and when it's hot it's warm me up. I see steam blowing from my mouth. Okay, another side is done. Top side is here. Here I don't have to do anything unless I want to do aesthetic grinding. But on the back side I have to do that surface completely flat.
That is a result of grinding with a saw disc. It's still rough surface, but it's almost flat. And for fine grinding, I do use sanding disc. Okay, backside board will lay flat is all right. So far, I do not care about front front side what goes outside or it will be facing. If I need to do something, I will do it later. Also, I do not care right now about that piece of aluminum because it's easy to handle when I need to handle it. But surely later I will cut it and it will be something like that. Everything is clamped under and now what I will do I do here little two tugs, one side and another side too. I ah, forgot to take off jacket, because it will be sparks. And as I said before, I don't want to get holes through my jacket. And mosquitoes fly all over. So that means it's a bomb time here. This is my tugs bits here and another side. On each side of a sliding rods, I put safety pins, and to prevent pins against be loose by vibration or by taking by somebody else, I put duct tape over here. Right now, I have to remove extension bar, and I have to cut duct tape. Okay, duct tape is removed, pin removed, both security pins removed, and now removing extension. But surely it's easy to remove, and right now you see how it's made. What I'm doing now, I do have one hole only drilled, now I put on a second set of holes and I have to drill another hole in a central plate. And now probably you see from out there, this is the first hole and this is a side or link of a maximum. Okay, I do have a space here, six inches or 150 millimeters. Same here and same here. And this is my hook for a bicycles. It comes that way and it goes inside. Now I could attach rope, bungee cords or whatever to that central pole, my bicycles, and bicycle tires easy stands here. But I have to drill secondary hole for security pin. You see the very first hole now through pin on a hitch extender I have to drill another hole in that aluminum plate. The thread is much smaller in diameter and I'm marking with that red. When I work with a metal, I always lose gloves. I use gloves when I do painting, that way my fingerprints does not stick into a paint. I mark it very, very nicely. It's here. Now I have to pre-drill it with a small drill bit. Yes, I found a solution. It's a very unique place where I could back up with my back bumper and stand here in a depth up to my belt and work on everything. As always I say, 
Stop talking, start walking. This is my little drill beat. Okay, looks like pre-drilling is done. And it's about in a center. Now somehow I have to climb here on that platform. It's not high, but it's kind of the high. And I have to increase diameter of that hole. I think from that side I am accessible. Final check before I get complete weld. Center bracket. Mounting for a hole check. Left pin is on too. Okay, this is a central pin and it's here and there is a hole there. You see how it comes through? Nice and easy. I have to do my last weld on a central bracket and at the same time to cut parts what I don't need. Removing central pin. It's a little bit tricky because it's too long and I made these parts too tight. Okay, first I do cut what I don't need and surely safety glasses is must. When you work with a, such type of a grinder and in a most cases it's easy to break when it has pre-cut. So that's it, very easy. But now anyway, I have to make that surface nice. One side looks like that. I don't care about these bits. But as you see here, another side, what's laid to a square, it's completely flat and nice. I have to weld, to finish my weld here, and surely a couple tugs on another side. And now I'm ready to do my last weld from inside and from outside too. And folks, it doesn't matter with what hand I weld, because I use both hands for my welding. Now I flip it over and making other side welding and surely trying to get good view for you all right i think this is last weld what i have to do for today okay done and surely showing my weld bits. This is last weld of a weld bits. Now it's connected. It stands steady and I'm mounting it back into a place. And now folks, it's the most exciting part for me. Since I'm done with everything, except fine, fine cleaning, I'm putting everything in position and I'll be ready for driving. Right pin is on. Left pin is on. Very last mounting central pin. Secure central pin. 
Now I need to take shower and go for my nyama nyama. At the same time, I will charge batteries. And folks, to my surprise, nobody came here to a Morrison Spring, but no divers, no beach people.